you're going to send us your clock, you need to take care that it's packed safely so that it isn't damaged in transit. There are two main types of Elliott clocks. The first is a timepiece, and this is fairly easy to pack. The other is a bit more difficult. This is a chiming clock. Some of the chiming clocks don't have pendulums on, but this particular one does. To send one of these clocks through the post, you will need two boxes that you can get from either the post office or WH Smiths, and they usually come flat packs like this. You'll also need some bubble wrap, some sellotape and some packing tape, and some kitchen roll. If your clock is a timepiece, it doesn't need anything doing before you start to pack it. It's fairly simple, it hasn't got anything that's going to fall off. Other clocks, like chiming clocks, need a little more work doing to them before you send them through the post. There's the key, which we don't need, as long as you put that somewhere safe. But what you must do is make sure that the pendulum is unhooked and taken off and wrapped separately. Just get some bubble wrap or some tissue paper and roll it well. That should keep it safe. That should be fine like that. The next thing to do is to make sure that the gong rods are packed securely. You don't want them clanging around in the post. I'm going to gently tuck some tissue paper underneath the gong rods. Then I'm going to take another piece of tissue paper and I'm actually going to put it under the hammers but over the top of the gongs. Now that's going to stop the gongs from clanging away in the post and vibrating too much. I'm now going to take another piece of tissue paper and I'm going to very, very lightly scrumple it up and gently push it in the back there. And what that'll do is actually stop the unit that drives the pendulum uh, from moving around and hold it securely, ready for posting. So that clock is now ready to pack up and put into the post. I'll pop that over there and I'm going to show you how to actually wrap a clock completely and ready for posting. Right, I'm going to firstly wrap this clock in the uh, bubble wrap. Make sure you have enough bubble wrap to hold it securely. I'll just tape it up. There we go. I'm now going to put it in this box. Make sure that it's nice and tight in there. If need be, just add a little bit more to make sure that it's nice and secure. I'm now going to take that up. Now that should be nice and secure then, it shouldn't move around. Now that's ready to put the next layer of bubble wrap on before putting it into the second box. Make sure you've got enough bubble wrap to make it nice and snug in the box. Put a bit of tape around. And this should be nice and firm in this second box as well. Make sure you've got enough wrapping there so that it's not going to shake around at all. The other thing before you close it down is to make sure that you've put all your details. Your name, your address, and if you've got an email address, send your email address as well. It's always useful to have that for contact. Tape up the box securely, and what I would say is tape it up with 
some packing tape that makes it far more secure than just cellar tape. Obviously make sure that our dress is nice and clear. 14 Langdale Court Whitney OX28 6FG and we always advise you to send it by special delivery and we look forward to getting your clock. Once we get it we will let you know that we've received it safely. We will then assess it, let you know what it needs and tell you how much it's going to cost and you can say yes or no whether you want it done or not.